Dear students, welcome to my new lecture. I am Roxana Parvin, lecturer, Department of Civil Engineering, All University of Bangladesh. The lecture content we will cover compaction, methods and test of compaction, objectives of compaction, factors affecting compaction, difference between standard proctor test and modified proctor test, method of field compaction, difference between consolidation and compaction. Compaction. Compaction is a process by which the soil particles are artificially rearranged and packed together into a closer state of contact by mechanical means in order to decrease the porosity of the soil and thus increase its dry density. In compaction process, normally the volume of air reduces. It is a rapid process than consolidation and to add in compaction some mechanical process. This mechanical process or compaction process may be accomplished by rolling, damping or vibration. This is loose soil. After compaction, the air verse from loose soil reduces and soil gets compacted. So, due to the application of rapid load, natural soil compacted by reducing air voids. Objectives of compaction Compaction can be applied to improve the properties of an existing soil or in the process of placing fill. The main objectives are to improve the density of soil, to improve the shear strength of soil, to improve the bearing capacity of soil, to reduce the permeability of soil, to reduce the compressibility of soil, to reduce the shrinkage of soil, to reduce the frost susceptibility of soil. Methods of compaction. The compaction characteristics are first determined in the laboratory by various compaction tests. These tests are based on any one of the following methods or types of compaction dynamic or impact, kneading, static, vibration, test of compaction. Proctor showed that there existed a definite relationship between the soil water content and degree of dry density to which a soil might be compacted and that for a specific amount of compaction energy applied on the soil, there was a water content termed as optimum water content at which a particular soil attained maximum density. Some of the usual compaction tests used in the laboratory to determine water density relationship of soil are Standard Proctor Test Modified Proctor Test Harvard Miniature Compaction Test Direct Test Abbott Compaction Test Factors Affecting Compaction A number of factors will affect the degree of compacted that can be achieved Water Content Amount and Type of Compaction Type of Soil Addition of admixtures. Difference between standard proctor test and modified proctor test. Standard proctor test is done in three layers, whereas modified proctor test is done in five layers. The hammer used for standard proctor test is 2.5 kg, and that is for modified proctor test is 4.5 kg. The height of hammer freefall is 12 inch for standard proctor test and 18 inch for modified proctor test. Mold capacities are 1 by 30 CFT for both tests. 25 number of blows is required to perform both tests. Field compaction method. Various types of soils can be compacted in the field by three methods. Rolling, ramming, vibration, equipment of field compaction. The following equipment is used in the field to achieve compaction. Smooth wheel rollers, pneumatic or rubber tied rollers, sheep foot rollers, vibratory rollers. These are the equipment of field compaction. Difference between consolidation and compaction. Consolidation. Decrease in the water content of a saturated soil without replacement of the water by air is called the process of consolidation. Compaction. Expulsion of air from voids under short duration moving vibratory load such a compression usually known as compaction. To achieve consolidation, static load is required, whereas to achieve compaction, dynamic load is required. Consolidation is time dependent and require long time, whereas compaction requires short time. Consolidation achieved due to expulsion of water. On the other hand, compaction achieved due to expulsion of air. 
and this is the end of our today's lecture thank you everyone